A while ago, the American Legion post in Punta Gorda spent thousands of dollars to get a war tank. They spent some more money to build a slab for it to sit on. When it got delivered, though, it didn't go on the slab. Since then, it has been sitting in a parking lot with no safe way to move it for a month. Wing News reporter Annalise Araola joins us now live from Punta Gorda. So, Annalise, did anyone come to help the American Legion? Yes, Russ, a local company stepped up and helped out today. Veterans at the American Legion Post 103 in Punta Gorda were left high and dry with this big boy just sitting in their parking lot when really it's supposed to be right here on this concrete slab. The Legion paid $15,000 to build. It only took two days to get it here, but since those two days, it's been sitting in our parking lot, not on the slab. I spoke with John Dollinger, the American Post 103 commander in Punta Gorda. He tells me the Legion has waited a long time for a tank like this. And I applied for it 12 years ago. Dollinger says the company they hired to move the tank from Titusville to Punta Gorda was supposed to lift the tank by crane onto the concrete slab. We've called, we've tried to get a hold of them, we've tried to get a hold of their rep, been unable to get anything from them. This tank weighs 51 tons, meaning it would crack the concrete if not moved by crane or very carefully. After the tank was delivered, it couldn't be moved at the time due to a storm. It sat there for a month. No one came back with a crane to move it. We do whatever we can for the community. Until one local Punta Gorda based company heard about the situation and decided to step up. Mike Dowling, heavy manager for Prompt Towing Services. Thanks to the veterans out there that are sacrificing their families for us every day. What can you do? Right. If we can help, we're here to help. They even brought out their patriotic trucks, the Patriot and God Bless America, to help these veterans. Thanks to a lot of help from Prompt Towing's equipment, workers, and some donated railroad ties for the job today. The problem is solved. They said, we're going to do this for you, and it's on the slab. What else can I say? I mean, it's been a great day. As you can see, the tank is on full display now. Prompt Towing Services donated their time and services with no expectation of being paid back. But I spoke with the company the Legion originally hired to transport the tank, and they say they want to do whatever they can to make it right. I'll have their side of the story for you all new, only on Wink News at 6 p.m. Live in Punta Gorda, Annalise Iraola, Wink News.